Vita, I have a problem. What's that, Martin? My Cloud Run service displays user profiles, and it takes a while to assemble all the data for user profile on the server. I've tried caching data in a global variable between requests, but I noticed that it's not always there for the next request. That's because on Cloud Run, you're not guaranteed to get the same instance every time. But we can make things better by turning on session affinity. Let me show you how. First of all, let's turn on session affinity in your Cloud Run service. Click your Cloud Run service. Click Edit and Deploy New Revision. Go to the Connections tab and check the session affinity checkbox. Then scroll to the bottom and click Deploy. Mm, done. Uh, now, what did that checkbox do? Uh, will I see a new item on my Cloud Bill? No, no, it's, it's included. It's just another toggle. Ah, I see. And what kind of apps is this useful for? Well, your use case is perfect. You're caching user-specific data that takes some time to generate the first time. Session Affinity will make your cache more efficient because Cloud Run tries to route requests from the same client to the same container instance every time. That makes sense. Another example is a game that uses WebSockets, and you want the player to connect to the same server if the socket is disconnected. Because you don't want to rebuild the entire game state in memory and introduce lag for the player. Got it. Session Affinity lets me cache data on the instance between requests. What about sessions? Many web frameworks like Express Session or PHP Symphony support server-side sessions. And I've used them for shopping carts and similar in the past. Can I use Session Affinity for these server-side sessions? I'm glad you asked, because you absolutely shouldn't. Cloud Run scales up and down, and that means it adds or removes instances. So the request can end up in a different instance that doesn't have your data. Think of this like a regular cache. Your code will run faster if the data is in the cache, but it shouldn't assume it's there. So how should I use server-side sessions in Cloud Run then? Well, most people like to use Redis, and you did a video on that, how to port stateful web apps to Cloud Run. Ah, right. Uh, Dina had looked into how to implement server-side sessions in Cloud Run, uh, and we shot that video based on her findings. Uh, I'll add a link to it in the show notes. Oh, by the way, did you hear about this new feature that we added to Cloud Run? It makes it easier to create a memory store instance and connect your Cloud Run service to it. Yeah, I saw that in a video from the Cloud Next conference. So back to session affinity. Let's say I'm not doing server-side sessions, and I'm only using Session Affinity to help with local caching. I could still use Redis for that caching, right? Yes, you can use Redis for caching. But if you can easily recreate your data, like you did with the user profiles, it's cheaper and simpler to cache data in local memory instead of storing it in memory store. Ah, I see. Session Affinity makes a cache with user-specific data more efficient. But Vita, I'm a developer. I, I want to know how this works. Uh, how does Cloud Run know where to send each request? Yeah, yeah, I can relate with that. I also want to know how things work. So session affinity is implemented using cookies. That probably means I will have to include this cookie when I make API calls from my JavaScript web app, right? Well, usually, you don't need to worry about that. Many client-side libraries include cookies by default. But if you are using Axios, use with credentials, which will make Axios send the cookies. Ah, thank you for showing me, Vitsa. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have any questions for Vitsa or me, or suggestions for future serverless topics, please enter them in the comments below. We read every single comment. Until next time.